You don't get stuff like this nowhere. This is changing. This is changing uh, entertainment. It's changing education. This is epic. Y'all better receive Sarnetta Studio. When you're ready for the latest breakdowns, latest news, latest presentations, there's only one place to go, and that is Sarnetta Studios. Black man, wake up. Black woman, wake up. Sarnetta Studio, the greatest media on the planet. We right back at you. Thank you for having me, House of Consciousness. I love you. Peace. Check out the channel, Sarnetta Studios. The brother's going to be bringing a lot of lectures through. You get your live lectures. You're going to get some on-point documentaries and things of that nature. So make sure that you subscribe, spread the word, let your peoples know Sarnetta Studio is the new channel. All right, peace. Tune in. When black people qualify as a racist, any black man or woman who defends their own against devils, such as those within the pale-skinned group, are called many things, and racist so happens to be one of the latest. Until I have enslaved you for more than 300 years, raped your girls, your mother, and your boys, established a wealthy nation from your labor, burned out, beat, and lynched you during Reconstruction, demonized you in the media, reduced jobs and good education in your community, seeded guns within your communities, created and doctored laws tailored for locking up the maximum number of pale-skinned persons, only then will I, a black man, be a racist. This is your host, T. West. Welcome to Afro Synergy. We're failing to follow a lawful order. Okay, look at this. This cop, this judge, and this is the problem in America with these pale-skinned people, and always have been a problem with them. And that's why they are already in judgment and the big kaboom is coming real soon okay he refuses to say the cop was dead wrong he refuses to do that he beats around the bush claiming that well he was in his rights he had the discretion to do this he had no such discretion to do any of this None. Absolutely none. Why did he open the door to that car? That's an invasion. She didn't have drugs in the car. And if you watch that whole 50 or so minute video, you notice that they went all through that car, all through the car, grabbing things out of that car. The cops did before the car was towed. 
No indication of drugs. None. But then the coroner, who is another agent of the state, who, is, who has a party who is responsible for this situation that resulted in the death of Sandra Bland, they're going all through the car, didn't find any drugs. But then they say, oh, she had marijuana throughout her system. Really? Who was watching you as you were taking the fluids and the tissue samples? Who was watching you? You can douse those things with marijuana and say, well, look, here's the sample. Well, you, can, you have contaminated the sample. During the O.J. Simpson trial, you had cops who had invaded the evidence, the blood evidence, and taken some of it from that location over to the site of the purported crime. Crooked cops. Crooked judicial systems in America. Use of force, like reaching into the car to get her, is certainly one of the permitted steps before using a taser. Reaching into the car. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. He was never supposed to have reached into the car because there were no grounds for him to reach into the car. Absolutely no grounds. None. But here you see him obfuscating and avoiding talking about the substance, the real substance of what led to this. Cops judges and he's both but um, it's a dangerous situation because when you reach into the car you're exposing your gun to the person in the car um, I'm not you know. now listen it's a dangerous situation damn cop did not get hurt Sandra's dead how many times have we seen this situation where our children are murdered by these savages as I've always said, as Isaiah said in the 18th chapter of the Bible, a people terrible and peeled, peeled meaning pale skin, white, terrible and peeled, terrible from their beginning hitherto. This is what we're dealing with. These people have not changed since the time of slavery, since the time that they proclaimed that they owned black people, that black people were their possession, their chattel, just as a horse, a cow, a goat, property. That mentality has not changed. And these poachers, these cops, are the enforcers of that ideology today, yesterday. But there's a change that's coming and that's already in the process and that's why they are so evil and dirty right now because they know their time is short think analyze be patient and when necessary defend yourself Move on. I'm certainly not condoning his argument of, uh, I'm going to light you up. That was very unprofessional. I would have handled that situation completely differently. Now, look, that was very unprofessional. <laughs> unprofessional. These idiots have a big problem saying the word criminal, saying the word criminality. Oh, it was unprofessional. Oh, black folk. Oh, they robbed. They stole. Pale-skinned people with privilege, with power, oh, they embezzled. These big, pretty words. No, this cop showed his criminality. It was a crime what he did. Not, oh, what he did was unprofessional. Oh, no, 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 no. It was a crime, a low-ball crime. That's what it was. Call it what it is. Words are very, very important. That's why I told you all, stop using the phrase white supremacy. 
It's whiteism. That's what it is. Like racism. It's whiteism. There's nothing supreme about them. There's nothing the man about them. The man is coming. All these things that you black folk have uttered without even thinking the origins. What are the origins of these words and phrases that we're using? What did Hollywood brainwash you into saying and thinking? What did the professor, the pale-skinned professor at these universities brainwash you into saying? It was they at the universities who used the term the dominant. And then you have these Negroes, the dominant group. Not talking about you, black folk, being dominant. Talking about the pale-skinned people, the white supremacists. If they're supreme, what does that make you? The opposite of that, the anti of that, is inferiority. Whiteism. Words are very important. Back to the cop. This judge. Professional. That wasn't professional. Professionalism. No. It's criminality. What this cop did was a criminal act. And they talk about law. Law. Law does not mean that something is moral and right. Law. It was the law that black folk were to be enslaved in America. The law. It was dead wrong though. It was a criminal act. Slavery was a professional business. But it was a criminal business. Words. But within the continuum of force, he had another option after trying to reach in to get her, and that was to, to, to threaten her with pepper spray or use pepper spray. But that's not a better situation. If you spray pepper spray in a car and she comes out, she's blinded. You're not going to want to grab her because then you're going to be blinded, and she could stumble into traffic and get hit by a car. I think he was using the taser to threaten her to get out. I don't think he was actually going to tase her in the car because that doesn't really simplify the situation for him. It, this was a situation that should not have escalated to the point it did. Frankly, I probably would have handed her the warning and walked back to my car, or at worst, gone back to the car and written her a ticket instead of giving her the break I, intend, I, I intended to give her. I think we all wish that had happened. Judge Alex Ferrer, thank you for being here. So, another point that this judge articulated was about the U.S. Supreme Court. The U.S. Supreme Court has, has given these cops a wide range of tools to use. Well, they're using those tools uh, primarily against black people and sometimes some brown people. The U.S. Supreme Court, you're a problem also. You do not give these poachers wide latitude with which to poach upon black people in America. You don't give them that. You have to very strongly and very distinctly define what their parameters are. To leave no room for doubt for these idiots who go about killing and slaughtering our black children, youth, young men, young women in the streets of America. This is dead wrong. Sandra Bland was murdered. She did not commit suicide. She was murdered. This is T. West with Afro Synergy.